Best Weather Channel. This forecast is brought to you by LJ Electrical Contractors. Call us for all your electrical needs at 609 703 7413. Good late uh, Wednesday evening. Meteorologist Bobby Clark here with an update on your forecast. Nor'easter Nick does have the evening off. Temperatures are starting to fall back as that cold front is pushed through here. Look at this. Dayton's at 28, 39 even in Philly. And these temperatures are going to continue to drop for the eastern seaboard as that uh, uh, cold front continues to push on off the Atlantic Ocean. Temperatures are a little closer to home. 38 in Wilmington, 35 Westchester, 35 in Norristown, 35 in Doylestown, 38 the state capital. And that 195 corridor heading eastward towards Asbury Park at Executive Airport, it's 42 degrees and 41 in Atlantic City. So certainly temperatures are starting to drop back here. Those winds are picking up out of the west, turning more northwest. If you have any kind of early plans for tomorrow, the bus stop and or heading out for the commute, you definitely have to bundle up because these temperatures will be in the 20s and 30s by the time you wake up. And with those strong wind gusts, make it feel even colder across the region itself. So the front is clear down out of here. We got the cloud cover moving on out of here. So... In terms of sky covers, looking fantastic for tomorrow, believe it or not. It's going to be sunny skies, maybe some gray afternoon uh, clouds, but the winds and the cold air not making it feel good out there. High pressure does push in here later tomorrow night on into Friday. So Friday's actually looking very nice out there. We'll see sunny skies for most of the day. Maybe some cloud cover will develop as we head towards the afternoon, but temperatures right where they should be for this time of year in the upper 40s to lower 50s. And with the less wind, will make it not feel as cold. The next storm system pushes in, I think, early Saturday. Get some showers in here for through the afternoon itself, that clears on out, and we dry out for Sunday, looking nice, and temperatures right where they should be for this time of year, hitting right around 50 degrees. As for tonight, clearing skies, turning windy and cold, 24 will do it inland, 31 at the shore. The main key is going to be those winds. West, 17, sustained gusts at 30 miles per hour, and as you get closer towards daybreak and heading out to the bus stop and for your commute, turning more northwesterly, making it feel even that much more chillier. As for tomorrow, we'll see ourselves 42 degrees. We'll do it, as I mentioned. Sustained wind, 16, gusts to 35, making it feel like the 20s and 30s out there. But again, I think we'll see some cloud cover, I think, as we head later on into the afternoon itself. Taking a look at the upper air pattern. So now we've got this dip in the jet stream for us, thanks to that cold front that's pushed on through here. But then we get to moderate just a bit as we head towards, I think, Saturday. And overall, I think we're going to be zonal, if not a little bit of a ridge for us, I think, overall. So that's not looking too bad for us in terms of temperatures, basically where they should be for this time of year, 50s. But then as we head into the beginning of next week, it's going to get even warmer out there. So we could see temperatures pushing into the 60s before this polar art, uh, vortex comes in here late next week. We could be talking about temperatures not getting out of the 30s for highs by the time we hit the end of next week. So it looks like it's staying colder as we head towards the next weekend itself. Take a look at the seven-day forecast, though, for us right now. Dealing with 47 as we head into Friday, looking fantastic. Saturday, again, those chances of showers flirting with 60. Sunday looks good. Monday, another chance of showers, another storm system pushing in. And then as we look at exclusive NORCAST, plus three days looking for us. Much warmer as we head towards the middle of the week, but then a cold front pushes on through. Temperatures dipping back into the upper 30s to the lower 40s. Have a great night, everybody. I'll see you tomorrow morning.